and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following along with my last two videos, you would know that I've been playing a little catch up on some Europe videos from the archives. I'm so excited to share what I've been up to recently in Greece this summer, but for now, let's rewind back to summer 2022. So after a couple months of living in Athens, my friends came over to visit me from Seattle for two weeks. Since it was their first time in Greece, they of course wanted to head to this aquatic island of Santorini. Can you blame them? This tourist hotspot has been a popular Greek location for many years. From being sprawled out on the cover of magazines to filling up everyone's Instagram feeds, we've all heard of the place. But is Santorini worth it? While I'm not from Greece, after living and visiting the country for months at a time where I got to explore the Peloponnesos and the Ionian Islands, visited some Greek islands in the Aegean Sea, embarked on some adventures on mainland Greece and other Cycladic islands, the question of whether or not Santorini is worth it after now visiting it three times is more nuanced than I thought it would be. Make sure to stay till the end of the video for my answer, but for now, let's embark on my third journey to Santorini with some of my friends. We woke up super early in Athens for our four hour ferry ride to Santorini. Upon arriving, we were being released like a pack of mice and hopped on a bus to get to our Airbnb in Theta, Greece. We picked this location because most of the bus routes are in the center of Theta, making it easier for transportation and it's also less crowded than Ia, which is where most people tend to want to stay. As you can see, Theta is beautiful. And without knowing better, you might mistake it for Ia, which is where you've seen all of the sunset pictures with the white buildings and the blue roofs. We have just arrived in Santorini. This is actually my third time in Santorini and I was debating on whether or not I should even vlog it. The first time that I came, Christian and I took our bikes not knowing that there were gonna be cliffs by the time that we arrived, we basically biked up the cliff to our Airbnb the first time and I almost murdered him then and then the second time last year, I took my brother and his girlfriend because that was their first time in Greece and of course, since my friends are coming here for the first time, I had to take them here and I don't know, it's so beautiful but I almost feel like it's one of those places that you don't need to go after the first time but on a positive note, I am really excited to show my girlfriends here for the first time. They are really excited and I feel like I can kind of show them around the island since I've been here before. Okay, excuse the wind. I'm currently crouching over a rock because I don't want to disturb anyone else sunbathing on their like balconies. So this is the Airbnb with all of our crap. Got some really cute decorations. Here is the kitchen situation. So Hannah and I are sleeping upstairs and then Yasmina and Tammy are gonna share this cozy bed upstairs where Hannah and I are gonna sleep. It's Inhale. so cute. And here we've got the bathroom, a bathtub, all the goods that we need. You are so nice, 10 out of 10 I here. I love it. Follow me this way, guys. This is the fabulous view that we pay hundreds for. Did we pay hundreds for? Yep. Well, 200 per person is actually pretty expensive for Greece, but it's Santorini and we did book it last minute, so we were expecting to pay more than usual compared to the other islands. I haven't stayed in an Airbnb close to the view yet, so this is really, really nice. In the past, we've had to like drive to get to Fido Stefani or Theta or Ia, so this is really nice because we can view the sunset from our Airbnb. Walked out of our Airbnb to have a view all to ourselves. 
We watch a proposal from afar because we're creepy. And then take the bus to explore Ia at night. If you don't do well in the heat, nighttime is a great time to do some shopping without the harsh sun. Caramel and pistachio. Just got some ice cream. Tammy, what flavors did you get? Um, chocolate sorbet and Greek Viagra. I don't know, but it tastes good. <laughs> Myself an oat yogurt with dragon fruit and nuts. So good. It's wow. awesome. just got a Dutch pancake. Good morning. Technically not morning anymore. It is 3 p.m. But I had one of the best sleeps that I've had in weeks. I got this oat yogurt, but it just didn't fill me. I just did some work on the bed there and I think I'm going to head out and get some pizza that Yasmina got last night made by some Italian guy. I tried to buy it and it tasted really good. Then we're all gonna go to Akrotiri, go to the lighthouse there because it has the best sunset in my opinion on the island. My brother and his girlfriend went there last summer but I didn't and the last time that I saw that sunset was in 2019 so I'm really excited to see it again. I've been wearing the same stuff over and over again which are these white White linen pants that are the best for beach days and hot days. I got this at Route 67, which is a store in Monasaraki. We got some pizza from Da Vinci again. Okay. And we, we got, got the, the Da Vinci pizza. pizza. Wow. On our second evening in Santorini, we headed towards a red beach in an attempt to have a beach day. I never got to visit this beach my first two times on the island, so this would be a first for me. Tammy's crushing on the waiter. Um, I'm trying to help her shoot the shot. Help. She's being resistant. This is my frozen daiquiri. I got some in my Just went to the red beach and it was beautiful. We didn't get a swim. Sorry, Yasmina. Yasmina's mad at us. We really wanted to swim, but it's okay. I don't think the water was the clearest, but the view was really, really pretty. It's supposedly, according to Hannah and Yasmina, dangerous to swim there, kind of, at times, because of all of the mudslides and the rocks, but the view was really, really beautiful. And now we're just waiting by this smoothie booth because they're calling us a taxi. The guy was so nice. He called like four different taxi services. And one is gonna come now. We're hoping that we don't miss sunset. It's like happening really soon because um, the drive is about 20 minutes. For sunset, we headed towards Agrutiri Lighthouse. On my first trip to Santorini in 2019, our local host told us that this was the best sunset on the island and I would have to agree. Watching the colors change while sitting in front of the lighthouse on a rock is Definitely one of my favorite experiences on the island. Arrived back in theater. Alive. Made it alive. I got this grilled squid and it looks amazing. I decided to treat ourselves tonight. guys it is our last full day in santorini because i have the airbnb to myself today because i have to do some work um i decided to just go and walk and grab pizza for brunch overall we've been having a really really fun time i think just because i haven't like done some shorter term travel in a while i forgot how exhausting it can be and how important downtime is and like time to yourself is. Being in Santorini again for the third time has been 
the same but different we did go and explore red beach yesterday which i've never been to so that was really fun and i think that just visiting a place that you've been to before as a different person is actually quite nice in the sense that you can see how you've grown throughout the last couple of years i was definitely in a different space mentally so just to go back with my friends and exploring it again has been pretty interesting just got ready best view. No, it's crowded and we're struggling a little bit. I mean, is Santorini worth it? To answer the question simply, if you haven't been to Greece, then yes, but only if you have the right expectations. Here are some reasons not to go. It is expensive, it's crowded, and while there are some nice beaches such as the unique red beach that we went to, if you're looking for a beautiful clear turquoise water to swim in, then I would definitely recommend visiting another island. Three, it is not as authentic, so you'll be mostly surrounded by tourists. As for reasons to go, Santorini's geology is really unique with its volcanic center. While it's not the only Cycladic island with this particular white and blue architecture, it really is beautiful and distinguishable. If you're looking to have a luxurious experience with a pool overlooking a cliff, then there is no shortage of that on Santorini. While it is crowded in Ia, you can still find some moments of solitude in different parts of the island. For instance, you can still walk at your own pace while doing some shopping, catch amazing sunsets in theta without crowds, or head to Akrotiri. Personally, for me, it's definitely one of those places where you don't need to go to more than once. With all that said, I'm still so grateful for the opportunity to even get to go. But wherever you go, just remember to be a responsible traveler, tip your waiter, respect the local culture, and choose sustainable accommodations and transportations when you can. I hope this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click the like and subscribe button for more videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.